Good, you got my letter. Gore's just about to start his presentation. This should be interesting. Now let's welcome Professor Gore. Magenatics posits that magical energy cannot be destroyed. Today, I will prove that magic is a limited resource, like water or, or timber. Using my advanced equipment, I have detected significant drops in the world's ambient magic. This drop, I believe, is directly attributed to the return of the Elder Dragons. They consume magic at an alarming rate. If the dragons are not stopped soon, they will leech all of the magic from the world. Ah, bosh! Magic doesn't get consumed. It changes form and concentration, but it always returns. It's part of a closed system. I have proof. Oh, this the is your oh. Get off the Where stage! Where did I leave those notes? I must have left them in my lab. Uh, please, excuse me while I fetch my records. I can prove the problem exists, then we can focus on its solution. Professor Gore will return shortly. Until then, please welcome Sepha from the Phrenologist. Thank you for coming. I see a lot of overlap in Gore's theory and our shared goals. As do I. If Gore's research aligns with the Priories, we may be looking at a cultural revolution. Revolutions are won militarily, not academically. Still. Gore's theory could prove useful. I agree, but nothing can happen until Gore makes his case. Why don't we all settle in and listen? How can you be helped? Savant, allow me to present three of Ratasum's finest minds. Slep of the Vigil, Batanga of the Order of Whispers, and Crosso of the Derman Priory. I asked them here to listen to Professor Gore's speech because they all have an interest in fighting the Elder Dragons. Pleased to meet you, Savant. The Derman Priory is dedicated to research and exploration that will help us combat the Elder Dragons. As you can imagine, we've been watching Professor Gore's progress with keen interest. I'm glad to see you share that interest. We all share the Priory's interest, just not their methods. In the Order of Whispers, we specialize in covert activity, Information, infiltration, and assassination. I understand you're more of a doer than a researcher, so you'll appreciate this. If Gore's theory gives us a clear avenue of attack, we intend to use it. How clear does a target have to be for you sneaks? The dragons aren't exactly tiny, nor do they keep a low profile. The Vigil's army of dedicated fighters was founded to confront the dragons through force of arms. I'm here to see if Gore's work can help us do that. Pleased to meet you all. Professor Gore's theory is groundbreaking, and the implications are monumental. I'm interested to hear him finish his presentation. He should be back soon. Let's see if any of the other speakers have any insights for us while we wait. An exhaustive study of Tyrian physiognomy led me to derive what I call Cepha's constant. Multiplied by the mean ratio of body mass to brain size, it yields an important racial metric. Namely, said race's importance as a factor in the eternal alchemy. A Sura scored highest naturally. Then in descending order, we have Silvari, Char, Human, and Yor. Your attention, please. I have just been informed that our colleague Gore will not be returning. The Arcane Eye reports that he was killed in a tragic lab accident while recovering his notes. It is a terrible blow to science. We should all mourn one of Ratasum's finest minds. On that dolorous note, this seminar is hereby concluded. Thank you for coming. Nothing's exploded, right? Gore died just as he was about to present proof of his theory. Does that strike anyone else as suspicious? Even dubious? It does. I'd like to inspect Gore's lab and review his documentation, though if the Arcane Eye's involved, we may not get that chance. The Order of Whispers can help. The Arcane Eye serves the Arcane Council, right? They have to do what the Council says. It's in their charter. We simply pay a visit to High Counselor Flax's lab, 
Find the materials to make a convincing forgery and walk right past the arcane eye. How unnecessarily complicated. Simpler to just outwit the sentries outside Gore's lab. The arcane eye can't match the Priory's brain power. I'll leave fact-finding to the Priory and whispers. When you lot establish a clear objective, the vigil will be ready. Listen, Savant. I'm pursuing a long-term, big-picture strategy here. So I want you to take charge. Choose the most viable plan and see it through. We need to know what Gore was going to show us. And if he was silenced, we need to know who did it and why. Good luck. Prompt and primed for action. I like that. Your outfit, though, that'll get you noticed immediately. You had a plan for that, as I recall. There's no dearth of lab assistants to a cost, but they're only doing their jobs. Do we really have to render one of them unconscious just to improve my sartorial splendor? I'll chalk that up to compassion rather than squeamishness, but no, we don't have to. Can you talk your way into a new set of clothes? Camouflage Reconnaissance is practically my middle name. My crew is on the verge of a breakthrough. or I'll toss you all into a pot and make a huge batch of simp stew. That's Flax's lab manager. A real pushover, right? You there! Did you forget what my boot feels like on your neck? Because I can remind you. Yep, a real pushover. We're gonna need something flashy to make her leave her post. Containment's at max capacity. There must be a leak in the tank. Too late. Containment breach! Oh dear. Am I in love or do you feel Wake like... Wake up, you lazy slobs. Quit shirking and get working right now. She's starting to crack. One more thump and she'll shatter. Uh, Chief? have a serious problem here. That does it. Step aside, troglodytes. I'll handle this myself. Filka's on the move. Now's our chance. Nicely done, Savant. So far, you've displayed a genuine knack for this sort of work. Thanks, but this was the easy part. Sneaking past the arcane eye will be dangerous. Not with this most excellent forgery. I'm eager to test our methods against those of the Arcane Eye. Secret society versus secret police. Who comes out on top? We're about to find out. Meet me at Gore's lab, and let's see if our little ersatz authorization passes muster. There's Rack from the Arcane Eye. We'll need to get by him. How interesting. Stand aside. The Arcane Council sent us to survey the situation. They're waiting on our report. You're out of your league. The Arcane Eye is handling this for the Council. Not anymore. See this? Signed by High Counselor Flax himself. Glitch. This is just typical. Those bureaucrats distrust everything unless they can micromanage it. Your presence here is redundant and unnecessary, but you have authorization, so you can go in. Just know that I'll be watching you. So far, so good. Now to see what they're hiding.
hold everything. This isn't Gore's body, is it? It sure isn't. Which means Gore's oh-so-convenient death is merely a ruse. But who's ruse? We need more clues. Keep that up and I'll give you a bruise, Luz. Er. Stop right there. You idiots have seen enough. You're interfering with an official Arcane Eye investigation. Move along. Now, before I have to send for more body bags. Time to go. But we're on to something. Let's regroup with the other orders. I want to hear what they and Zoja make of this. My keen sense of smell detects something fishy here. Let's check in with Zoja. I fought for years in the Mist War. I know what it's like. You know nothing. So Gore's death was a fraud. How does knowing that help us? The problem is still Elder Dragons. While you poke around in back alleys or libraries for information, the Vigil is out there fighting. And while you're fighting, Whispers is setting up the means to deliver a death blow. We appreciate the distraction you provide, but you don't really think you're going to overpower an Elder Dragon, do you? Swords alone won't get results. Neither will intrigue. The Priory supports a more holistic approach. We intend to learn all we can about the dragons and their weaknesses before we strike. Rack's arcane eye agents were all over Gore's lab. They removed a body they claimed was Gore, but it wasn't. I suspect he's still alive. If he is, the arcane eye has him. They run a remote facility in a human village called Garenhoff. It's isolated, remote, a perfect place to stash gore. Finally, a concrete objective. Just say the word, and I'll have Vigil soldiers standing by to storm Garenhoff. No, Rakt is too good at this game for that to work. But I'm better. We can use Garenhoff's low profile against him. I say we stage a demonstration and get ourselves arrested. Rakt will haul us in to avoid undue attention. Then we break out and bring gore with us. Regrettably, I cannot participate. I must confer with my colleagues in the Priory, but I wish you luck. Let's regroup when the mission is complete. I want you to take it from here, Savant. I'm going with Crasso to help the Priory look into Gore's theory. We both need to make inroads with the Orders for my long-term plan to be viable. Work with whichever one here you think will get the job done. I will. I'm as eager to figure this out as you are. And eventually... You'll need to share some details about this long-range plan of yours. Always be loyal to your crew. On to the next chapter.